I mean, it just went bad <laughs> now, actually. But at least I have Sweet. a Savannah. <laughs> cool. Can you yeah, share your screen, your screen when again. you're ready? There we go. Okay, awesome. so I, I actually okay. like to finish this for you, just for the sake of okay. doing it. But again, yeah, I was talking about state stuff. The whole component obviously yeah. re-renders when state changes or when the props change. Yeah, uh, okay. Unless you use like lifecycle hooks, like so use effect yeah. is one of them. This one is for mostly like this runs when the component mounts and it runs okay. again, the statement in the return here when the component unmounts. That's use effect, how that works. Okay, cool. Okay, um, cool. The use callback and other stuff, that just means that the function won't regenerate unless certain parameters change. So it's kind of like caching the, the function that's been called in the component. Um, okay. Same as use memo, the value that it stores, like use callback is for a function, use memo is for like a value. Use memo like stores oh, yeah. the, the value and that value doesn't change unless okay. certain parameters change. And it's all of those certain parameters changing that goes into this dependencies list. So, okay, cool. Yeah. Um, Okay, cool. So yeah, that's the thing. Okay. Um, yeah. So yeah, back to our code. Every yes. time this thing updates, yeah. The last thing we're doing is we're setting fetching to false, false, just so that, like, you know, we know that the first fetch has begun and everything else will just update cool. automatically. Okay. What I did have is I had this whole thing, um, sitting in here. Yeah. But I just put it separately to help kind of explain the concept. So we're okay, looking at cool, yeah. snapshot docs and then we're mapping for each user document. We're returning yeah. this object. This object is the data that's spread. And then we're just yeah. adding the ID as well, which is the doc ID. Yeah. And then because yeah. like TypeScript doesn't really know what the Firebase document is, like there's no link there. We specifically have to say that this, like I'm setting it to be as user. Cause if I don't, then it's okay. like it doesn't match the expected input here. Um, uh, okay. So yeah, I mean, you could also right. say it here, like users array, um, not users, just user, user array. Although that, that works weirdly because then it says this isn't like a user. So you can't say that this is a user array. So that's why you say specifically the data uh, here is going to be as user. Okay. Each, each object is going to be as user. It's a bit weird. I try to avoid saying stuff like this. Like yeah. In Fire, Firebase, you know, we have to, because yes if it doesn't and then like, yeah you know okay so like on the javascript side we wouldn't use that but only because it's typescript yeah on javascript you'll have this part left out but everything else would be the okay. same okay um, you just wouldn't have this part in yeah as well as that this okay. part in that's yes. about it but okay again, it's my proof is like if i typed an email here it actually yes. says like, you know, it doesn't exist on type user. It's flipping cool. So, oh my God. Okay. Yeah. And it also has an auto corrector. So if I say control space, you can see these are the yes. three items. That okay. Exist. You're making me love TypeScript, dude. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, it's a good, good thing to love. Um, yeah. Mm, yeah. I've been using it for like almost two years now. It's wonderful. It's awesome. So much better than just playing JavaScript. It, is. it was one of the cool. first things I did when I joined my, my company is like I converted yeah. us all to TypeScript. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, well, I want to, so like the thing is, I want to also like wrap my head around the JavaScript ways as well, you know, so I want to do it that way and I want to do this way and then I want to break it down to the hooks and I want to build it back. I want to yeah, just well, have like, some I mean, again, in, you know? like TypeScript is just stuff you add on top of JavaScript. So everything yes. that we do in TypeScript works in JavaScript. Yes. Um, except it's maybe that's, the, that like explanation. the question mark stuff and the explanation mark stuff. Oh yeah. Like those things won't work, but that it won't complain because you know, yes. it will theoretically work and all that. Okay, so cool. In general, most of what works in TypeScript or everything that like works in TypeScript works in JavaScript. Um, yes. Yeah. Usually. Okay. Well, everything awesome. that works in JavaScript works in TypeScript. Yeah, it's just like yes, kind of like okay. it's very, very similar. Very similar. Just so, TypeScript is more like set. It has its set things yeah, like where you set yeah, the there's more rules and stuff that you have to follow rules. that yeah. prevent you from screwing up. But yeah, in, in general, like you'll see the slight differences as you work with it more. Like 
but you already know that like anything with a yeah. colon after it like that to represent the yeah. type is TypeScript. So anything to do with yeah. types is TypeScript. Um, yeah. And you'll identify the difference pretty quickly. Um, cool, man. Yeah. These, yeah, square, okay. these like brackets yeah. like that, there's like triangle brackets, like they're always yeah. going to be TypeScript stuff. I don't think you use them yes. anyway in normal JavaScript. Yeah. For bigger or smaller than. So yeah, okay, this, well. this is this. I already tested it. It does work. Um, okay. So there's user ID, my name, and my game room ID. Dude, that's awesome. Um, okay. Mr. Example doesn't have a game room, so it just prints nothing. Yeah. But like, yeah, and then you've got that. So. Okay. Yeah. Epic. That's <laughs> pretty much that. I mean, you can clean that up awesome. to your liking. Um, yeah. And yeah, that's awesome. how that works. Thank you. <laughs> that's so cool. It's a pleasure. So should we go over our to-do items now? Or... Yeah, let's do it. Okay, sweet. So you've done the pages and rooms cleanup. Let's go look at that just to be like, attack everything you've done. So yeah, uh, this is where I, I want, um, well, you just didn't yeah. delete that. Oh, uh, wait, I, you did delete that. It's just source control doesn't manage directories. So that's good. Um, yeah, I mean, we should call this rooms. Not just room. Oh, yeah. oh right, yeah. We'll call it rooms list. Or oh. yeah, I'm gonna call it rooms list. Uh, just because. Okay, cool. Oh, room list is good. Yeah, or you could call this rooms page. Like that. Okay, cool. But room list is good. Um, cool. In here, we've got is fetching and rooms from use rooms. Cool, simple, straightforward. That's good. Yeah. Uh, you don't need these. Oh, yes, oh. there's one other. Uh, this is a problem. Um, yeah, this is a problem. So I want this to be a room. Okay. Like, sorry, if I leave that all out, I want you to take rooms. Yes. Map through rooms. For each room, yeah. render a room component. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, I see that. I thought I'm a, okay, I see that. Yeah, cool. And, and now, now we'll put it in, in these because that needs yes. to be like that. Because TypeScript is weird okay. that way. Uh, and obviously, the room that I have to pass through here um, yes. is we, we have a room item. Um, so I'm going to just spread room in here. And now I'm going to say over here, this is going to take a room item. Yeah. I think we have room item from use rooms. Oh, we don't. <laughs> um, so we've got our use rooms here. Yeah. Um, yeah, I understand you wouldn't have known what to do with this, but this room item over here, I'm going to move out to um, typings. Okay. Because I want to reuse it like across the app. Okay. So that's why I'm moving that. So now I just need to go to typings and add it <laughs> in. So room item just is referring to like a. Yes, okay. You know, like or you know moving it around so yeah yeah it gets used there but we're also going to use it in here because in our room here we need to use room item okay so cool we can import room item from typings now okay so what this is doing is yes. we're spreading the props of room which is a room yes. item of type room item, yes. you can see it's a type room item. So that means it's going to say basically ID equals ID and owner equals owner. Owner, okay. That means over here, okay, we obviously don't need this anymore. Um, in here we can say ID and owner. We do um, one thing, we did need to add the key in here because the key has to go here now and we'll say room.id. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, and then we're going to get rid of that. 
and obviously we don't need any of this anymore or any yeah. of this. Um, that's all we need now. Okay, cool. And then, um, and then, yeah, we don't need the room dots anywhere. Because right, it's got your laptop, yeah. Because we've just taken it from you, yeah. Yeah. Um. Right, and then uh, I'm gonna put this into its own little function, just uh, a non-click, or we'll call it handle click, because that's why I wanted this to be a little bit cleaner. Uh, just yeah, it doesn't matter. Like, what you have works fine, but cool. yeah, I'm just. Uh, semantically try and sort it up because that what you had here where it was just room yes. was like almost almost pointless <laughs> yeah um yeah because it was just like okay what actually isn't here is the rooms so well yeah i want to map over each thing and give you each room item here okay cool so now the room item is nice and simple so here i'm just gonna say handle click okay cool awesome. so that's cleaned up um the styles for container i want it to be in here so that's another thing because we don't need the styles up here. Um, like, yeah, that's why I want the room to be on its own. The room has its own styles. Um, and th this is the purpose of it. It's like, I, I have my page, my rooms page. Rooms page has a rooms list on it. And then rooms list has a room item in it, basically. And that's what this is for. If I do that, it should fix itself. I think I just, because I moved files around, I need to rerun it on start and that works. Cool. Just checking, are you still there? Cause you went quiet. <laughs> oh, you did freeze. Flip. Oh, you froze again. I'm sorry guys. Kevin will be back soon, I hope. Uh, la, 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 la. No, he's decided to connect with his mobile data. We'll see how well that works. If that doesn't work well, then we'll just, yeah, again, probably we'll have a 10.6 or something. <laughs> hey, my bro. Uh, there cool. we go. Um, awesome. So yeah, what, my whole point is what I was just trying to say is like now it's very nicely organized because you have your, your rooms page. Yes. In your rooms page, you have a rooms list and your rooms list has yeah, like room yeah. items that we're looking at. And the yes. styles for this are, you know, purely in the scope of room. So, you know, I shortened that to go to dot slash styles instead of back out because, yeah, yes. you're kind of keeping okay, the context awesome. like, you know, yes. as relevant as possible. And it's just so throughout your app, you can see what's going on better. Yeah, like, because okay. we're not going to reuse this rooms list anywhere else. So we don't stick it in components, but like stuff like our, I guess the yes. logo button, we're not. But the logout button could go, you know, somewhere else. But the field we're definitely reusing and, and these different little styles here we're reusing. So yeah, that's what that is for. Um, okay. Okay, cool. So that's the rooms dealt with. The next issue was make sure okay, cool. user can't claim both X and O spots. Okay. So again, we're done with this. Um, that one's actually the harder one. So let's do it at the end when we're like really fresh. Um, <laughs> okay. So let's do the login fix if search parameters aren't there because I left comments there yesterday on how to do that. Yeah. This one's very straightforward. So it's just like if the redirect doesn't exist, go to see, slash. Uh, so we'll first do um, if no redirect. 
then we will say return history dot push and we just go to here then the next thing we say is if no um i think it was a go to just the no player yeah if no player then return and we basically just say this but without the without the um, player part Just thinking, um, this is wrong. <laughs> um, this should be, I think, um, sorry, what is this redirect URL? Uh, I just need to check something. I think it's because of the way we did our, our room thing. Are you still with me? <laughs> No, I'm, you're not still with me. Ah, uh, flip. Okay, to the rest of you guys, I'm going to go to the room page. And over here, we're pushing like login slash redirect uh, equals R. I think it's sticking a bit again. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, yeah. I lost you for a little bit, but you're back. Um, I'm just, uh, sorry, busy thinking. Um, so this redirect is, is actually the, you know, the, what it's redirecting to. And then I'm adding this additional parameter on here. So yeah, sorry. I got a bit confused with my comments, but basically this is, this is what everything does. Uh, if redirect doesn't exist, then we're not doing the whole redirect function. So we're just going straight to the home page when the user is logged in. Um, if this player thing doesn't yeah. exist. Okay. Yeah. We, we do. Yeah. All the things in general. Now we can actually copy this, um, and put it into like a, a function that just says like, yeah, redirect, like perform redirect or something. Um, so I'm going to say const perform redirect yeah. because I want to reuse this. Um, as okay. we use callback, uh, just because it's not going to change ever. Like, so it won't change. So we can run this whole thing. Um, okay, cool. I just need to get use callback from here. Oh, it did auto import there. So this perform redirect, that means I can put this whole thing in here to just perform redirect. Great. Because that's okay. Awesome. It, it does. It is based off history play and redirect changing. So this function will change of those values, yes. but it automatically filled that in for me. Okay. Um, now the thing is I want to run that perform redirect in here as well. Okay. So just because if, um, awesome. Yeah, if that user, I don't need history here anymore because it's done over there. It's just like, yeah, if, if cool. the user's logged in and it is like got that URL, then it will do the redirect. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. I see that. I wouldn't have expected you to, I, I just expected you to do this, <laughs> these two things. Um, <laughs> yeah, because I kind of commented it out. I said, if, cool. if redirect doesn't exist, which is just the statement, then go to history dot push yeah 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 okay so, cool same thing uh, if exist. like so yeah just try and like think as many things of how can i translate this to to code okay, uh cool. my dad said oh, yes. i'm doing okay, okay cool. and ego said hi everyone it's like how's it guys cool um right so that's good how's it guys <laughs> Yeah, did you see Facebook recall a presentation? I, I did not. I have not seen that presentation, so I have no opinions. Um, but I should probably check that out. Um, yeah, so I, I have no idea what, what that is about. Um, what, what is that, bro? Uh, asking if we saw Facebook recall, recall a presentation. Um, we posted uh, this. Yeah. But I don't, I don't know what that is. Okay. <laughs> so. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Um, make the use search params hook. That's going to be pretty easy. Um, 
Yeah, I thought so. I just gotta remember uh, where we used it. I don't. Uh, was um, the was it? No, that was the helper is just part of it. Um, I'm trying to think. It was. And so this is the get. I think we did this. Oh man! Oh. Uh, it's uh, it's this. We need to just combine this into a hook. So we can just say use search params instead of get search params. Oh. And then it will, you know, do this whole process. So very straightforward. Um, okay. Okay. So yeah, that, that it's a new state manager for for like <laughs> for God of state managers. It sounds cool. I mean. I must look at that because that, that must be like, yeah, it must be like the Redux killer. <laughs> um, I mean, we can do our next app on that and then like, well, it depends when they've released it. Is it like with the newer versions of React or is it something else? I don't know. Um, so I'm going to say use search params. And then here, we'll say index.ts. So I'm just combining this into like a custom hook, okay. which means um, yeah. okay, cool. We need to use the we got to import from React Router DOM as well as get search params. Yeah, but theoretically, the get search params helper that's here, I could just move it mm -hmm. down into this. Um. I mean, I can oh, okay. call it helpers, I guess, just so it's like easier to understand, do the cool. thing. Let me uh, index.ts that and over here. Okay. Why the, oh, it automatically changed that. <laughs> so it, it did like an automatic like um, root update, which I didn't really need because it yeah. just needs to be but there we go cool so yeah we need to again we're not using this anymore okay cool we'll import um get search params from dot slash helpers great and then um i guess we have a const uh, use search params yeah it's not going to take anything in and it's pretty much going to it's going to return this um so this thing here it's just going to return like that as is okay cool okay um so now let me just okay. do the export. Um, I guess that goes down here. From dot slash use search grams like that. Great. Okay, cool. Um, that's done. Awesome. So now in here, Sweet. we'll import use search params from hooks. So cool search params and now we don't need this no, we just call it and we just say use search params like that and that means we don't need that use location anymore um Perfect. so it's just kind of moving it into like a one-liner um yeah it's easier to okay. like kind of graph so we did use that in room as well yes. in Perfect. the player display so yeah, yeah this part um we're again gonna say this thing um yes it's just gonna be use search params we get from hooks it's automatically imported there we don't need the search value cool. here and we can get rid of this let me just awesome. put this in the right place <laughs> um i can get rid of the helpers i can get rid of the use location and yeah slightly sure. simpler great <laughs> okay that um, made that made good sense yeah so again that was another easy one uh so 
we did that. Um, in use create room, if the user already has a room ID, check if the room exists, if not create it. Okay, I think that's also a very easy one. Um, okay. So again, I said in, in use create room. Yeah. Where's my use create room? There it is. Um, if the user already has a room ID, uh, yeah. and the room doesn't exist, create a room with that room ID. So what I basically have to do is fetch the room by the ID to see if it exists. Which okay. One? Uh, wait, sorry. This guy asked a question. Um, I also used, used to make all root files with index name, but now I'm tired of making separate directories. It's difficult to search by file name. Oh, um, yeah, there's lots of pros and cons with that. Uh, yeah, I, again, I find it easier to, to read through my whole code, but like, he's asking like, why don't I do index files? This is a preference thing and whatever preference you stick to, you just better be like, um, yeah, consistent. So I like it. Um, like again, I can see everything. I can see my pages. These are all my pages in my room. I know like, so basically everything is named by the folder that it's in. Um, oh, and where did I set absolute paths? Yes. That's a good question. That's very important. So the absolute paths, they get set in TS config. Um, if you set your base URL to source, then you can do absolute pathing like that. So it's just simply adding this base URL as a parameter in your TS config. You can do it like that. Um, it's possible to do it in, in, um, how do you do it? Like you can do it in JavaScript, like without TypeScript another way, but yeah, anyway, sorry, uh, Kevin, I have to answer chat questions. No, that's good a question. good question. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's the thing. Um, yeah, it's, I don't know. It's one of these things that the index file stuff, I'm just used to them. Like, Cause I can still see up here, I see that that stands for use create room and not, like, I don't know, you just, you have to change your way of like thinking about how you're reading files, but yeah, other people like to use just files. Um, I think the reason I started doing it this way, like with the index files like this is because yeah, for one, it forces me to like export them. So it's easy to import. Why is this here? Strange. Anyway. <laughs> um, what was the other thing I was going to say, um, in pages, for example, like the room thing that we did here, uh, this room, I know that this has styles associated to it. And, and for one case, when you write unit tests, you can write your like test in here by saying like index.test.tsx, and then you have like a test file in there as well. Um, so it just kind of, I like it because it groups things. Um, yeah. Sweet. Uh, <laughs> yeah, cool. <laughs> he said thank you to the questions and thanks for my opinion. Um, but yeah, it's not dumb to stop doing it that way. It's just, yeah, it's a preference thing. Um, as long as you're consistent in whatever style you follow, it's good. Cool. Anyways. Um, and then, yeah, sorry, there's like a 15 second delay, I think. So you might take a while to hear my stuff. Right, where were we? Okay, we were in that use create room hook. Okay, so over here, we just need to fetch a room by the ID to see if it exists. So we already have the user yeah. room ID. So now I want to say yeah. um, const, uh, I'm going to call it, again, it's like a found room. I wonder if it will let me name it or it will complain that that's named there. <laughs> it won't. I think they, okay. I don't know. Um, we'll call it found user room. And this is going to equal another await.db.collection. That's not await dot, it's just await space. Collection. I'm just pretty much copying what's below there. Um, yeah. Rooms. And now we're going to say dot doc. And we're going to look at the user.room ID. Cool. And we're going to say dot get. Um, okay. And. So again, if, if the room exists, um, yeah, if found user room dot exists, then yeah. we'll do this return statement. We'll, you know, set the room to match. 
Otherwise, the app will continue and it will generate a new room for the guy and this whole process that we built ages ago will happen. Okay, cool. So this is just like if our data is a bit like it improves some data sovereignty issues. Like yeah, if, I um, yeah. If, if like the, the user has a room ID, but that room doesn't exist, then we, we want to go through and create a new room. Or I guess mm, okay, cool. we can skip this part. Um, We can do an else in here. Yeah. Um, because they, they already have the room ID, so we just have to create a new room ID with that. Um, uh, okay, yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to say um, new room ID. Uh, let. Now I'm thinking. And over here. This is just going to be new room ID. And what is I saying? We're going to say new room ID equals user dot room ID. Okay, cool. Okay. And that means technically down here, we can replace these all with just new room ID. Um, Cool. So yeah, sorry, lots of like stuff going on in the back of my head. Basically, we're setting a new room ID to be the user or room ID. If the user has a yeah. room ID, then like, um, I've got to say Danya as well. In fact, everywhere we have like new room ID, we can just say room ID. It's just like the actual room ID. Yeah. Um, and. I realize we used it down here. We can even like replace that. Cool. Okay, cool. So essentially what's happening here is, yeah, we're setting room ID to be the user's room ID. So if room ID exists, then we make sure that the yeah. user has a room at that ID. Um, yeah. And, and yeah, if that room exists now, then we set the output to be the room ID because that's like... Okay. The output is, is just something we return at the end of this function to say like, you create in a room and the output is the ID, is the room ID. Um, in fact, okay. the output at the end is always going to be room ID. Uh, what did I say output? Why were any changes? That was weird. Okay, I'm just going to set room, no, no, no. Uh, like output to be room ID. So it simplifies everything a lot easier because it's just like middle middle ground there we go um so essentially this function this full function here returns like the room id so it's either the new generated room id or it's the room id of the already existing user because if you try to create a room for a user that already exists we're just going to say stuff that goes to the room that's there um and it will take their previous okay, cool. and stuff yeah Okay, sweet. So, yeah. So they can't just create room on top of rooms. Well, more multiple rooms. Um, yeah, I won't create more rooms. It basically, again, cool. what we're saying here, if the room ID exists, yeah. like if, if the, like, we're setting this to, oh, sorry, this shouldn't be undefined. We should set this to use the room ID. That would have broken everything. Okay, cool. So, I just wanted to ask quickly, um, you know the um, user room ID? Mm -hmm. Where do we get the user room ID from? We get it from? So we get user from current user. So oh, you use enough. current user. Yeah. Okay, sweet. Sweet. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so the current user um, was constantly being updated. Uh, Okay, but cool. that user has got his value. It's as a user. Yes. So, and yeah, he's got his, that, yeah. This user here has got like a, a room ID. Well, yeah. The room ID is potentially undefined, um, theoretically. Okay. So that's the thing worth noting because they, they could not have a room ID. But they'll always theoretically have a display name because we set a display name upon them being yeah. created. 
um, and they okay, always have sweet. an ID because they will always have an ID. But the room ID is okay. optional. So we're saying here, okay, let room ID equal a string or undefined, which is correct. Um, cool. And yeah, you could even say let it equal like user dot room ID, I think. I think that works if you've got user from typings. I think that works. Why is it not declared? Uh, hmm, weird. Okay, I thought you could do that. Yeah. Uh, maybe, maybe if you if you had the yeah. Sorry, I I was thinking incorrectly. It it works a bit differently, but yeah. Anyway, this is a string or undefined. It's fine. Okay um cool. great it's if you have like a if you export default that kind of stuff like yeah oh, okay um anyway i think you can right. yeah it's it's just not a namespace like i tried to do try to be fancy and i failed but yeah <laughs> what this does checks Sweet. if the user room id exists if it does we make sure the yeah. room actually exists and then we'll yes. return room id if um but yeah, if the room ID exists, then cool, we can skip this part. Uh, and then we just go and, and do the whole, like creating a room. Uh, so if the room, if the user has a room ID, we will keep yes. the room ID, but we'll go make an actual room, like object <laughs> uh, yes. with that ID. Um, but yeah, if they didn't have a room ID, we start doing the whole generating process until we find a room ID that doesn't exist. Um, yeah. Okay. So, All right. and then we just use um, our generate method that gets us like four letter strings. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Um, all right. That makes a lot of sense. And I wanted to just say now, you know, the starting turn below that. Yeah. Um, can starting turn. Um, so there we just setting the, the ball. Or is X game done or zero. Uh, what do you mean? Down yeah, here? I no, remember this, that. We're just creating an empty. Board. Yeah, that's just creating the empty stuff. Okay, yeah. cool. Like Turn a, number one. Default okay, board, sweet. Basically, with the user ID. Okay, awesome. Um, awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, pretty much. Um, and yeah, we also we... update the the user, and give them that room ID. Um, yeah. I think that's also. Um, only if uh, this part we can put an if. Oh wait, room ID we're gonna set later. Yeah, we can move this part up to um, up to here <laughs> to set in here because um, okay. you only need to update the user room ID if they don't have an ID because if they don't okay, cool. do all this stuff so yeah okay just awesome. yeah doing that basically <laughs> cool um cool. okay yeah and the rest is wow. pretty straightforward uh yes. okay so that works well, it should work I'm not even going <laughs> to test it because I'm <laughs> quite confident in it if it breaks, then we'll we'll do our testing stuff later. Um, okay. <laughs> so yeah, we've done that. Now for the the weird yes. one is making sure the user can't yeah. be in both X and O spots. Yes, so this is the one. I actually don't think it'll be that complicated based off what we have. So yeah, I thought it was going to be a lot of time on this. So I think did you? I did, but I didn't do anything. Yeah. You just didn't get anywhere with it. Cool. Yeah. So we basically want to um, like, I mean, we could either just like say like the on click on the join room, say like, no, you can't join the room, um, which is probably the yes. best place to do it. Uh, we, How we would do you it do there that? First. So we go into the join room thing here. Uh, 
which is what use join room. So we're going to use join room. And um, mm -hmm. in use join room, we need to say const use room. Oh, wait, sorry. Yeah, it's const something equals use room. I don't remember right now. And in there we can stick our room ID. Okay. So we're getting the specific room because we need to get the room. The room will tell us what, um, sorry, uh, let's make that like that. The room will tell us what, oh, wait, use room already knows the parameters because it uses the params. Okay, cool. So in here we have, I don't know if it is an object or not. Yeah, we have the is fetching in room. Um, I guess technically we could just go fetch the room data as is when we try to join the room. Okay. okay. So there's, yeah, so obviously there's two ways to do it. We can do it in this join room function or we can do it by making the UI so that you can't do it. I mean, we should theoretically do both. <laughs> um, okay, yeah. So, oh, did I just remove output from here? Should add output in there. This doesn't work as expected. I need to add the player symbol as well. Sorry, this is me cleaning up code that we should have done a while ago. So, first thing I want to do yeah. is I want to say, I want to basically check if the room like currently has like the user with the ID in because we have the user ID here. We want to see yes. if, if the room's um, player X ID or if the room's player O ID matches the user ID, then we need to, um, we need to say no, like, okay. we just don't, we don't do this. So that means we need okay. to get the room stuff first. So I'm going to say const. What am I going to say? Let me just like, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out as I go. Collection, cool. I'm going to look at the rooms collection. I'm going to say doc at room ID, because we have the room ID up there. Okay. And I'll say dot get. So I'm going to say const uh, doc equals that. Um, uh, and we're like, okay. we're assuming the room does exist already because like, yeah, it, yeah, you can't join a room that doesn't exist. I guess you could just yeah. say if doc exists, then then we can go forward with all of this stuff. Okay, cool. Now, um, mm -hmm. what we will say now is uh, const. Wait, what are we saying? Um, we're going to do the if thing. So if doc.data, yeah. or let's just get um, these things from doc.data, or the doc.data here, we can get um, player OID and player XID from here. Okay. Because this document is like basically meant to be, um, well, one of these things. So now I want to say if player OID is equal to user ID or player X ID is equal to user ID, then I'm going to return, which means I won't run what's underneath here. I'm going to return an alert saying you can't, oh, yes, let's make it back ticks. Um, more than once. Okay. Um, this, uh, well, I guess I have to say dot dot. We'll just say data dot here. And make that the question mark thing is. So, cause this could still potentially be undefined. Um, so, okay. Yeah. 
theoretically it won't be because it's doing the doc doc exists thing, but yeah. Yeah. Alright. TypeScript things. Okay, there's a problem cool. somewhere. Let me just find it. I don't think it is here anymore. Okay, yeah, this is running. So let's just check cool. if we can join a room. You made a bunch of rooms. Yeah, well, that's when I was playing around with everything today. <laughs> so, yeah. But they don't belong to users because you delete the users. Or do you do something else? Um, <laughs> yes, I deleted the users and then I deleted um, their emails. But I, I don't think I deleted the rooms. I yeah, didn't go into so that's that. Is. That's why they're unknown rooms. Um, yeah. Yes. But it's cool. So you can make like I'll a script later that like you can run to just remove all rooms without user yeah. IDs. Um, okay, cool. You can make like an admin button. <laughs> um, okay, sweet. Make like give the users an admin flag, like an is admin. And if they are an admin, we can give them like an admin page and then like do a cleanup like that. Okay. It's a good thing to sweet. do moving forward. Okay, so I'm going to join as me. Cool, I've joined as me. Now if I click here, it tries to join. It says yes. you can't join the game more than once. So that works. Okay. Awesome. Um, okay. Yeah. And I mean, I think that's good. I mean, if you wanted to do the same thing, which you don't have to, you can just, like, you can change this to waiting for player, um, like waiting for opponent to join or something. Uh, Oh yeah, yeah. this okay. is good too. Like you, that's a sort of like you know, make it so they can't click on it, or like yes. disable it or something. Like, uh, but you just do the same thing with fetch the the room, um, and in that case you don't have to fetch the room on the UI side. Um, you already have the room, so over here you've already got like the room. Yes. So you can just say if okay. uh, room dot player dot. Um, like we can, again, this is a span, but if it was like a button, you could say uh, disabled equals, um, and you could say room dot player. Uh, okay. Player OID equals, um, I wonder if this works, maybe it will work. No, no. So you could say that equals, um, let's go to find out my user dot. I think we we have a user dot id here. Or um, room dot player x id equals user dot id. Uh, that object's possibly undefined, so we just say question mark. Question mark. Question yeah. mark. Um, and yeah. Oh, it's current user dot id. Oh, um, I think I can't tell the difference anymore. <laughs> we have a current user there. <laughs> yes. I know, dude. Um, and then this this use user is getting the, oh, uh, um, yeah, that gets the information of the. Oh uh, yeah. Where did he come from? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this this room it's looking at just one row. Um, yes. So in fact, uh, this doesn't have to be player player O or player um, X. It just depends yeah. on what uh, like which which thing it is. <laughs> um, okay. Like that. Uh, the if player X then you do that. But I mean, yeah. You can say room at um, player. And now in here we can say, sorry. ID. And over here we can say player. That means we can remove all of this. Pretty crazy, I know. Jeez. Um, 
uh, again, the disabled is a bit pointless now. Yeah, I'd just like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sure. That's very cool. I mean, we can make a function. Uh, but the, yeah, this this is basically if it was a button, you know, we disable it. I'm just showing it. Was think, a button. So it says it needs to open. Yeah. I think I just have to like surround this in an like as uh string or undefined. Yeah, that works. Oh no it doesn't. Um <laughs> come on. Yeah. String is can't be used to index type room. Uh, I guess if you like, we have to go say the room and we have to go say the anything or in here, like, because it's TypeScript, it's messy basically. <laughs> um, yeah. But what, what I would do is, is like, I'd clean this up a bit, but the point is you could, you could do something like this, but I'm not going to do anything like this now just because there's no point. Yeah. Um, yeah. we, we need to clean up this like UI a bit more and organize it if you wanted to decide specific work you wanted to do but the point is you could do it quite easily over here it's actually more work to do it over here because over here we have to yes. get the room um, okay, sweet. and all that stuff cool sure. um yeah okay. so that's the thing crazy stuff uh Dude, absolutely crazy stuff okay so we've done all the to do's um so like our personal to do is now, again, you can style stuff. Um, but our, our to do is, is to, um, to leave a spot and then yes. layer off spot. Okay. Um, and that's all going to be done in that same component we were looking at. So all done, yeah. Right? Yeah. One of the things is I really want to clean this up. <laughs> so okay. I think what I'm gonna do first is clean it up. Cool. Uh, and I'm just trying to think how I would clean it up. So up here we have the the like player display. That's pretty straightforward. Cool. Are we using context here at all? No, we're not. Um, we could use context, but I'm just going to use props because it would be nice. Um, so okay. I'm going to have a, uh, a user black component and I'm going to have yeah. a, uh, join component and I'm going to have a login to join or login join. Yeah. Like that. Okay. I'm just going to simplify things a bit, uh, by moving like these little spans into their own like thing. Cool. So I do my normal import react FC from react. Now I'm going to say const and we're going to make user like yeah yes like the user display that like, kind of thing um okay and here we can say return and i'm going to copy this whole thing into there now let me just make a function handle click so it's easier to like separate concerns the handle click we'll put in there. Yeah. Great. Um, that means over here we can do this. Uh, like that. Okay, cool. We've done that. Um, right, next up, use history. Just 
again, moving over whatever's in red, thanks to TypeScript. And this player ID, where did we get player ID from? Um, player ID. That's just this use memo, depends on what player we're looking for. Um, so again, we're gonna say player ID and yeah, it means I need to say use memo. One of the props that this is gonna take is um, yeah, it's gonna be the player, which is just that that um, symbol. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Sweet. So we got that that symbol going. Room. I need to use room. I don't need the is fetching part because um, that fetching is handled higher up. Yeah. And then the user uh, that comes from user user based off player ID. So. Okay, cool. Um, right, and theoretically, we're assuming the user does exist because we're gonna render that up here. So now I can kick this out and say user, user like that. Yeah. And I'll just cool. uh, import user from dot slash user. I need to add this player in here um, as props. Oh, okay. And then we can slowly start seeing if any of this part is, is not used. Um, we're still using user elsewhere. Yeah, we are. Um, okay. I mean, these like, the automatic join room stuff is a bit of a strange one. Because uh, <laughs> <laughs> that could technically happen. Hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking of the, the point of all of this, if it's worth it or not. Because we use the join room up here as well now and all of that. I don't know. I'm super indecisive, actually. Thinking maybe we just don't do this. I know I'm like <laughs> a third of the way through with doing this, but like, yeah. Okay. Just going to leave it the way it was. Yeah. Going to ditch these components. Um, just doesn't clean up as much as I thought it would. So, yeah. If you are... If you have joined, um, then there's going to be an option to leave or um, leave slash kick. And this is going to be okay. dependent on, on like a bunch of factors. Um, yeah. So what we could do in there is put that into its own component. Um, I'm going to call it remove user. And this will like have a bunch of like things of it will show and stuff based off of like what's going on. <laughs> so okay, cool. that's why I wanted to split everything up, but I can split this up on its own because it like makes sense to look at it in isolation. Because it's only going to show if, if someone's already there. I need to go at half past seven, so that's a thing. <laughs> Meeting with friends, but we'll finish this in time. No, sorry, man. Oh, cool. Um, const, and we're going to gonna const. Are you going to play some game? I actually have no idea. Um, no, if I play games, oh, it'll be like much later, yeah. I think it's just to hang out and chat. I see. Oh, nice. 
Right. Um, cool. So the remove user. Should we write some comments? Um, I can say. Yeah. Uh, wait. What is it going to say? Okay. So if um, display user is me, let me leave. And then the other one is if display user, I, I guess the other one is if I am, uh, I am room owner, let me kick. Yes. Okay. So in order to get the display user, um, I've got to get this, okay. this user. So I've got to get the whole player name, player ID stuff. Okay. Which is a pain. Um, just thinking. Okay. Uh, another way we can do this. And I think it's just a nice thing to be different, uh, is we can make a function here. Or yeah. const, um, and this will be like a render remove user. Um, that's going to be a use callback thing. We've done this before. And instead of returning like a functional thing, we, we can return some JSX in here. Okay. So again, I'm going to remove this because <laughs> uh, like I want to show you other ways of doing things is okay. um, we can say over here, um, render remove user like that. And then okay, like, we could return our, um, well again, like leave slash kick. Um, I'm going to make a non name breaking space here. So that's like right next to it. So I'm doing that. Okay. Obviously it's not going to work yet. Okay. Um, but we've got that leave or kick if a player exists. So it shows. Yeah. So again, I want to do okay, my, cool. if, if I am the, the display user, so, um, if, yeah. and I need to figure out I guess it's current user. Um, if current user dot ID equals user dot ID. Is it user dot ID? Player ID, sorry. Player. Then we'll, uh, We'll return, um, well, this. Yes. But we'll say leave. Um, and we'll wrap it in a span yes. that we can click back again. Cool. Or let's, let's make the MB space outside of that. Cool. Um, this is just so that we can unclick and, and like do a, yeah, it's a function. like, uh, remove, yeah, remove user. We'll have to make a hook for that. Um, cool. Then the other okay. one is, uh, well, the final thing that we'll do is return null, but the other one is if, if I'm the room, room owner, then I want to be able to kick the person. Okay. So if I'm the room owner cool. and I'm the player, then I'm just going to say, I can leave. I'm not going to kick myself. Yes. But, um, yeah, the, this part is going to be like, if, um, I have the room, right? So I have the room dot owner. Yeah. Yeah. So I can say if, if current user ID equals room dot owner. I think. What do you mean it does not exist on tap room? Maybe it's owner ID.
Uh, it doesn't exist here, but I think it exists on the actual rooms. Let me check Firebase. So it means we need to update this. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's an owner. So every room does need to have an owner, theoretically. Yeah. So we're going to assume that an owner does exist. So I'm going to say uh, typings. Yeah, this uh, owner here needs to actually also yes. be on the main room. Okay. Yeah. So we're assuming that happens. Okay, where was I? Um, over here. Yeah. So if that's the case, then I need to return um, similar thing. But with a kick. Yeah. I mean, this is pretty repetitive, so I could just say the, the text. Um, I can do an all here. And then, um, so that, that works. And then, then over here, I'll just do an, an if, uh, if it's current player. Then leave, otherwise kick. Cool, that's a bit cleaner, I think. Oh, we're not using owner now. Hmm? Yeah, we do over here. We're not. So I've combined the two oh. if statements because they're almost exactly the same into one. So yeah. if the user ID equals player ID or the yeah. user ID equals room owner, then we render this. Okay. And then if it's the player ID, I render leave, otherwise I render kick. Uh, otherwise kick, okay, then yeah. okay, sweet. Oh, awesome. <laughs> hmm. So theoretically, yeah, I can leave, which is great. Um, let me just make sure that the console, when I click on it works. Yeah, clicking it does remove user. Um, the reason it did that was because we need to do that e.stop propagate. <laughs> So, um, okay. I'm going to put the function inside here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Cause we, are, we haven't defined a function yet. <laughs> yeah. Cool. And a click, it's going to be E, E dot, um, stop propagate. So that, um, let me yeah. type script it first. Um, this is going to be a click event. Is it, I don't know, is it a react mouse event? Um, I'm a spam event, mouse event. Okay. Mouse event. And then we say span element. Top script stuff. Yeah, <laughs> is it? I'm just copying what I read here. HTML span yeah. element. I don't have to say React dot mouse event. I can just import mouse event from React. Um, so, yeah, cool. and and then a mouse event goes in here. It's like a second thing. It's quite strange. Um, but yeah, that just means that I can say stop propagation and it recognizes it now. Um, and then we'll do our console.log remove. So the um, reason that I, I did this, e.stop propagate, is because. Yeah. You um, don't want the screen to refresh, right? I don't want. Um, this to happen when the element oh, in yes. here gets clicked. Okay, I don't want cool. the outside element to be clicked as well. Yes. I don't want the wrapper to be clicked, basically. Yes, I remember that. So, elements within element. Yeah, that just means that I can put this in here uh, easier. Perfect. Cool. Oh, flip, what's wrong here? Ah. Oh. Uh, 
but as I said, global this dot mouse event now. Um, Oh, that worked. <laughs> I don't know why it worked, but it worked. Um, oh, um, you wrap this in brackets. Is there two oh, statements now? That's why it said this null thing won't be reached. Oh, what's wrong now? Now I'm back. Uh, uh, this is not allowed inside. Uh, Block elements, which is fine. I can move it up here. Just which means I can remove down. this again. Yeah. And there we go. Um, yeah, it's quite messy, but it works. Cool. So now, I mean, obviously it's not going to remove the user, but uh, oh, what the heck is wrong now? Why, why do you still have problems? Um, TypeScript error. Oh, I fixed that though. Hmm. I should just try run it again. Just checking. Okay, that runs. Join room. Join the top one. Okay, cool. That should mean that I clicked on that. Uh, so it says remove yeah. user. Yeah, so I click on that. Yeah. If I click on Barry, it will go awesome. to Barry's profile page. Awesome. And because it's me, I can update it. If it was someone else, I can't update it. Um, yeah. Yeah. So that's pretty hmm. cool. Um, right. Now we have to make a hook to remove the user. I wanted to say, okay, before you make the hook, could we? Yeah. Could we possibly do the do that inside yeah and let me move it to a hook? Is that fine? Okay. Yeah. It's gonna be messy. Because I wanna practice I wanna practice my hooks, bro. Like I need to. Okay. Well, you know what? Maybe uh, maybe you, you can do it yourself. <laughs> no. No, you don't. Yeah. It's gonna be messy. It's gonna be very messy. Um but it's fine. Uh okay, so it's all good using the memo stuff. Uh I'm gonna say const well, you know what, bro, I think maybe you just make this hook. I'll do it on that other page that I will practice on. Yeah, look, uh, again, everything that goes in the hook is just like you get, you're you just going to cut it out and paste it into a hook block. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah, like okay. really easy. <laughs> yeah. It's the same thing. It's just like oh. moving this like into another component so that you don't have to like, I mean, it's exactly what we did with the stew search params. We like, we literally yeah. just took those two statements, put it in a wrapper and then like, yeah, yeah. it's like putting stuff okay, into a function. Sweet. Cool. So, Let's do that then. Yeah. So use remove. Um, it's a nice name for it. Um, <laughs> use lead position, I guess. Okay. And then, yeah, it can be used for kicking the person as well. But, uh, yeah. This cool. in general is just gonna. Uh, it does not be dot tsx. So I've got to think now what I need to. I don't need to import React at all. Use state. I'm definitely doing because I need the is fetching or is removing. I don't want to call it lead position. Leave room. Yeah. Yeah. So, what did we use to join the room? 
we needed the player symbol and yeah. the user ID. So we don't even need the user ID because we have the room. Um, we need to, uh, we just need the player symbol because what we're essentially going to do is we're going to update the room to not have yeah. the player at that symbol anymore. Okay. Um, so we need the room ID, which we already have. Okay. Um, and we need the player symbol. So am I going to leave X position or O position? So in here, um, again, the output would be something like this, except I'll say is leaving cool. and leave room. And we're just going to have the player symbol. The symbol comes from typings. Great. I also need the DB because I need to access the database because I need to make updates to that. Yeah. Cool. Yay. Um, <laughs> for this part, it's pretty much the same, except again, is joining is going to be is leaving. Um, Go to use params. Again, you could, if we weren't going to use params, we'll just use params in the app side and we'd pass it in over here. Um, okay. Like you, that would make this all more flexible. But as far as I know, we're not going to have this like on anything other than a page that doesn't have room ID as parameters. Cool. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to return at the end um, the is leaving and the leave room function, which we still need to create. Leave room functions will be asynchronous function saying leave room. This is going to take in the player, uh, which is going to be that symbol. And yeah, first of all, we set is leaving to false, uh, to true, sorry. Okay. Then we'll do our try catch finally thing. Try catch error console.error error like that and then we'll do our finally so regardless of what happens we set is joining to false or is leaving sorry to false cool so now i just want to again find the room at the specific id i don't even have to like find it i literally just have to update it so I'm going to copy what we had here, this, yeah. and I'm going to update, uh, yeah, there's the, the player, if it's player X ID or player O ID, I'm just going to set it to undefined because we're leaving that symbol. Okay, cool. So you don't need the, the ID and all that stuff. You just say like, okay, we're done with, we're out. So okay. pretty easy actually. Um, <laughs> just actually set this to equal the output. It's crazy. Yeah, based on what we already have, you know, you're just getting the rooms, finding the room with the room yeah. ID, and we're setting the player to be undefined because we're removing them. So yeah. Um. Yeah. <laughs> that means I can have a use leave room default as use leave room from dot slash use. Room. Cool. Now let's go implement it on the pages, player display. I need to say const is leaving and leave room. room. Great. Um, <laughs> use leave room. I need to get from here. Cool. Um, that's pretty straightforward. Uh, I just, I'll put in leave room and I'm going to add the player in there. Player is the symbol that we have at the top here. Cool. Right. Um, is leaving. I want to use that as well and just add that in the side here. Ing. There we go. 
Oh, right, it should be like, yeah. So, stick it in here. It'd be all fancy like. So if it is leaving, then we'll be all fancy and we'll say ing, otherwise e. Oh, where did cool. I screw up? Uh, this needs to have a... Oh, yeah. There. Okay. And then the kicking will also be... Um, so let me make these back ticks. It is leaving. And if it is, we say ing. Otherwise, we say nothing. Awesome. And now, in our app, if I join the room, and I say leave, it's going to say, it's going to break. Update called with invalid data. Um, I think I need to set it to null. Oh, uh, instead of undefined. Yeah, I don't think it likes undefined. Yes. I was thinking that as well when I saw that. I was like wondering. Yeah, so now I can say uh, it happened so quickly that. So quick it doesn't matter. It yeah. didn't actually kick me out. So maybe I need to refresh. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just thinking this, um, this use room. Um, maybe when when you leave room, maybe it should push us like out to the home page. Nah, shouldn't really. No. Um, because I want to, I might want to leave X and join O. Uh, I join yeah. that and I leave, but this doesn't update. Why isn't this update? If I go back and join the room, the okay, kid is updated there. But yeah, it's just not like this part is not. I think the display name. Um, oh, yes. This is, yeah, because we're just doing the X or the O, right? Player. Basically, the user's not updating. Oh. This change of player ID changes, which already comes through. So that's happening. Um. <laughs> yeah, I think it's that same thing of like, okay, it's not updating because like other stuff's not updating. Um. Similar to that user issue we had the other day, but yeah, the way to fix it is not wonderful. <laughs> not um, wonderful, eh? Yeah. I'm thinking the best way to fix this is actually for the room. Um, to whenever the room updates, we need to. Yeah. Instead of like basically what I want to happen, what I think should happen is yeah. this use room. Yes. We should have like an additional thing. Yeah, it says user, like not well, small letter user. And then have like um or or like not play X ID, but like we return player O and this will have like a ID and a display name. Okay. So I, I'm not going to do this now because our brains are broken, but this yeah. will be a good thing to do tomorrow. So we changed the returned object of room to have extra details. Um, okay. So we, we will use the Firebase data to build like a full front end object. This is very similar to, um, there's a thing called GraphQL, which like lets you yeah. this kind of query language of like, you know, merging data together into like one big object. So yeah, okay. basically whenever room updates, this, these values will update as well. Um, okay. And then we won't be relying on that like messed up user update thing. So okay, cool. Um, we won't do it now. We'll do it 
tomorrow okay. because this awesome is crazy number. and my brain hurts. <laughs> yeah, and it's Friday and we can yeah. chill a bit and relax, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, I'm going to... Awesome. Yeah, commit that. Um, fix all the to-do stuff and implemented. Uh, removing user from room. But it has a bug. Sad face. <laughs> um, cool. And then push that. And then let me yarn deploy. Yarn oh. deploy. Yay. Boom. Oh, that was cool. Mm. Um, Sick. Yeah. That was very cool. Thank you so much for the um, teaching thing, bro. Yeah, that was pleasure. really... Yeah, look, again, if you wanted to use um, this, how we would have done it, now that I've written it out, it would have literally just been this. Bam, like that. Um, you you would have there. pretty much done that. And then, like, again, I just I don't need this. Uh... Oh, sorry, that's for join room. Oh. Theoretically, I wouldn't need uh, this, and I just need to import use state and use params, and then everything else would work like this. Jeez, okay. So that's that's the thing. Like a, a hook is just wrapping this complicated set of functions into yeah. So like that one page be latched onto page. different things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's okay. simplifying it. All right. Um, Sweet. I mean, we could put the hook in here, like we could just say like hook. Since it's only being used here, you know, we can put like a hook in there and then move all our custom hooks like away. Yeah, to, okay, I understand. Like, yeah, so what we could do is actually, you know, place our, if the hook's only going to be used in one place, like logout is only going to be used on the logout button, we can do that. Yeah, okay, I might I actually understand. recommend that because that's like, uh, <laughs> yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. Epic. Yo. Yes, yeah, see, that one, that sesh was good. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. I tied me out there, man. Yeah. <laughs> but tomorrow's yeah. thing will, will be pretty cool, actually. I think it's a good cool. practice to follow. Um, yes. It's it's similar to what we did with the, um, what's it, get current user. Yeah. So over here with get current user, we, we like, we check if the user is like, you know, logged in and stuff. Um, yeah. But like, uh, if the, the user, like, yeah, if the auth state changes and there is a user, like, then we yes. want to not only return, like, we don't want to return like the Firebase user. We want to return yes. like, our own user object, which is based off of like our users collections. So we do yeah. this extra step, you know, to go fetch some stuff. Um, so we, we return like the, the document data for the user with that user, the authenticated user yeah, ID, yeah. we go and fetch our actual user object on that user. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So with tomorrow, we, instead of just going to fetch the player O ID and the player X ID, we're going to fetch like the actual player uh, linked to that ID and the actual player linked to X ID okay. and like, yeah, give them the full object so that we can read it without having to do multiple fetches from the component. We just one big user yeah, fetch exactly. fetches all the information we need at once. So awesome. yeah, that's kind of the goal. <laughs> it's like mm. this, um, awesome. like, uh, they call it like a BFF layer. It's like back end, like, I don't know. It's a sort of middle layer, like back end for front end, um, kind of system, uh, which is, quite interesting and cool. And this is a concept kind of built out. It's like, okay. we, yeah, we build stuff out according to what we need. Yeah. But yeah, um, let me say goodbye to YouTube. Sweet. Bye YouTube. Huh. Have fun. Awesome. Look at Kevin's face. He can say bye to you too in his darkness. Um, <laughs> yeah.